Alright guys, so today we've got another buying guide slash lineup overview, and this time for the 2019 Dodge Durango. All the exact options, pictures, and prices are available, so this video will give you all the info. This is going to include virtually every single option for each model in the lineup, such as colors and features, along with the prices and photos. Throughout the video I'll also be highlighting new changes that are here for 2019, but were not found in 2018, so you'll get the update of all the models as well. Hopefully this guide helps you decide on a model, or maybe you'll just find it interesting to see what's offered, like I do. And as always, this is for the American cars only, with US prices. And I'll also post a summary of all the changes from last year to this year at the end. So this year the lineup is similar to last year, both with 8 models. So last year there was the SXT, SXT+, Plus, GT, GT Rally, Citadel, RT, Citadel Anodized Platinum, and SRT. For 2019, we have the SXT, SXT+, Plus, GT, GT+, Plus, Citadel, RT, Citadel Anodized Platinum, and SRT. So basically, the only difference was that the Rally got renamed into the GT+. Plus. The Durango has three engine offerings, two V8s and one V6. On most models, the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 comes standard. So for the Durango, this engine has between 293 to 295 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Gas mileage is 19 city and 26 highway for this engine, and the maximum towing capacity is 6,200 pounds. The RT will come with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi that gives you 360 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. Gas mileage for the 5.7 is 14 city and 22 highway with a max towing capacity of 7,200 pounds. The other V8 is the SRT exclusive 6.4 liter Hemi with a beastly 475 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The gas mileage dips down to 13 city and 19 highway for this engine, with a towing capacity of 8,700 pounds. And no matter which model you choose, there's only one transmission, the 8-speed automatic. Rear-wheel drive is standard on every model, but you can bump up to all-wheel drive for 2,500 extra. And the only exception is if you have the SRT, which only comes with the all-wheel drive. And choosing all-wheel drive on the other models will bump you down 1 MPG for gas mileage. So the first model is the SXT, with a base price of $29,995, which is the same as 2018. There are tons of great standard features, including the Uconnect 4C with a 7-inch touchscreen, perforated leather-wrapped sport steering wheel, electronic T-shifter, customizable full-color 7-inch cluster, keyless enter and go with a push-button start, park view rear backup camera, and Apple CarPlay and Android Audio. Dodge claims that this is the most technologically advanced SUV in its class for around $30,000. The SXT has two packages offered. The first one is a trailer tow group, which costs $1,195, and this is offered on every single model in the lineup. And the other is a $995 third row seating group, which adds a third row for seven passenger seating and second row fold and tumble seats. As for wheels, there's just one choice, 18 by 8 inch painted aluminum. On the inside there are cloth trim bucket seats in either black or light frost beige. And the only other option to add here is a one year Sirius XM subscription for $195. So there's zero differences from 2018 other than price for this one. The second model is the SXT Plus for a base price of $33,390 which is just $100 less than 2018. Features include heated 8-way power leather trim seats with 4-way power lumbar adjustment, Sirius XM, bright roof rails with integrated crossbars, and the ParkSense rear assist system. And there's going to be five packages for the SXT Plus. The black top package is $14.95 and adds a ton of exterior features like 20 inch high gloss black wheels, black headlamp bezels, body color front and rear fascia, gloss black badges, and more. The anodized platinum package costs $9.95 and basically does the same thing but adds a platinum look instead of the blacked out look. Popular equipment group will set you back $16.45 for heated front seats and steering wheel, power lift gate, and auto dimming mirror. Chrome appearance by Mopar costs $9.25, and you get a bright pedal kit, chrome exhaust tips, mirror covers, and side steps and more. And there's also the third row seating package again. The Mopar running board package from last year is no longer available in 2019. There are three wheel offerings. We got the standard 18x8 painted aluminum, and then there's a 20x8 high gloss black and 20x8 satin carbon available if you got one of the packages I talked about. The interior comes with the SXT cloth seat standard, but you can get leather trim bucket seats for $695. And for $1095 you can add second row fold or tumble captain's chairs, and you can also add a single disc remote CD player for $495, a power sunroof for $1295, 
and blind spot and cross pass detection for $395. And that last feature there is available on everything up from here. The leather seats and the blind spot detection are going to be new for 2019 on the SXT Plus. Next up we have the GT, which got a big price drop of almost $3,500 from 2018. Standard features include new performance front fascia and changes to the rear fascia, 20 inch satin carbon wheels, and the second row tumble and third row seat. There are just three package options for the GT. The black top package for 995 is similar to the one we already talked about. The brass monkey appearance group is also 995 and adds 20 inch brass monkey wheels and badges. And finally there is a 395 all weather package but not exactly sure what's included there. There are also three wheel options. 20 by 8 inch satin carbon is standard and I forgot to mention that that's a new design for 2019. And the other two brass monkey bronze and high gloss black alloys are from packages. Inside the cloth bucket seats are standard but leather trim seats can be added again for $695. Other options that are extra from other models begin with the Uconnect. The standard to this point has been a 7 inch screen but for $695 you can add the 8.4 inch system with navigation but otherwise the options are the same stuff as the previous models so far. The fourth model in 2019 is the GT Plus for $38,795. It looks like this has replaced the GT Rally and you can also get the performance hood on this model. Standard features include everything from the GT plus a heated steering wheel and heated first and second row seats, power liftgate, remote vehicle start security and alarm system, and a 115 volt auxiliary power outlet and dual remote USB port. The GT seems like the model where you can really load up on features. There's going to be 7 packages, we've already seen the blacktop, brass monkey and all weather packages. There's also the premium group which sets you back around 2500 bucks and adds some premium features like the 8.4 inch Uconnect, a power sunroof and 9 alpine speakers with subwoofer. Safety, security and convenience group is $1395 and that's going to add HID headlights, automatic high beams and rain sensitive wipers. The technology group is also $2,500 for adaptive cruise control with stop, advanced brake assist, forward collision warning, and lane departure warning. And the $2,000 rear DVD entertainment center adds two screens in the back that can play Blu-rays. There's also three wheel offerings on the GT Plus, the exact same as the GT. Inside leather trim bucket seats with suede inserts are standard. And new for 2019 there are two options, a hand wrapped dashboard with live stitching, and real carbon fiber interior accents, both costing $9.95. And there's also the Performance SRT hood option for $14.95. Next model, the fifth model, we move on to the Citadel, which comes at a cost of $42.995, a bump of $800 more than last year. Some of the standard features here include tumble captain chairs, second row fold, Napa leather trim seating, and the 8.4 inch Uconnect with a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also option for the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi on this model for $4,000 extra. All the packages offered here we've already seen so we're not going to go over those again. There's also just one wheel choice, 20 by 8 inch platinum chrome alloys, which is slightly different from last year's version. Inside your seats can come in either black or light frost beige. And there is a new option for 2019, for $995 you can get 19 Harman Kardon amplified speakers with a subwoofer. The sixth model is the RT, which is the only model with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi standard. So at a starting price of $43,995, this comes in at $250 more than 2018. The RT really stands out with its performance hood and fascia, which comes standard, and there's also performance steering and suspension, and a Beats Audio premium sound system. There are five packages for the RT, four of which we've seen already, so Black Top, Brass Monkey, Tech Group, and Rear DVD. The fifth is called Cargo Plus for $595, and it adds black roof rails and a cargo compartment cover. And once again, we see the same three wheel offerings as the GT models. Added in late 2018 with some dual striping, so on the RT there are four colors available, Flame Red, Bright Blue, Sterling Silver, and Gunmetal Low Gloss. They actually took away the fifth color from 2018, which was Low Gloss Black, so again, there's only four now. And these stripes all cost $11.95. On the inside, the seats got a downgrade. So in 2018, there was all leather seat standard, but now you get black leather suede seats, and you can get the all leather for $6.95, coming in either black, sepia, or red. Nothing else is new, just things we've already covered, like carbon fiber accents and Harman Kardon speakers. The penultimate model is the Citadel Anodized Platinum. At $46,270, it's just $80 more than 2018, 
and again it comes with the V6 standard but the Hemi is optional for 4 grand. This model is more about luxury rather than the RT which was more about performance and looks. So you get features here like soft touch hand wrapped instrument panel with live stitch, Napa leather trim seating with perforated inserts and heated and ventilated front seats, heated second row seating, platinum chrome interior and exterior accents, and HID headlights. There's just two packages offered, we've already seen them both, tech and rear DVD. Just one wheel option as well, 20 by 8 inch satin carbon. The interior has full leather seats in either black or sepia, and that's about it for this model. So finally, the top dog is the SRT, with a big engine, the 6.4 liter V8 Hemi, and a big price tag of $62,995. There are tons of features on America's most powerful 3 row SUV. First of all, 0-60 to 60 happens in 4.4 seconds. Performance tuned all wheel drive as standard, along with Brembo 6 piston brakes, Bilstein active damping high performance suspension, SRT flat bottom performance steering wheel with paddle shifters, active noise cancellation, SRT performance pages, and SRT drive modes. There is an option for high performance brakes for $12.95, but I'm not really sure what this adds to the Brembos. The SRT has 5 packages, 3 that we've already covered, and then there's a premium interior group for $24.95, which adds hand wrapped dashboard with live stitching and carbon fiber accents. And for $0, you can choose the lightweight performance package, which gets rid of some weight by deleting the third row seats, making it a 5 seater instead of 7. All the three SRT wheel offerings are new for the 2019 Durango. There are the standard 20x10 black noise wheels, along with 20x10 matte vapor and 20x10 brass monkey, each available for $995. Inside black leather seats are standard, or you can choose the awesome demonic red Laguna leather seats for $1595. And one more new option for this year are $95 red seatbelts. And you can also add the dual stripes, just like on the RT. So that's all the models, and now let's have a look at the colors. Last year there were 12 options, this year there are 11, but things have changed up a bit. Bruiser Grey, Stout Brown, B5 Blue, and Blue Bayou are gone from 2018. 2019 brings Destroyer Grey, and also F8 Green and Reactor Blue are going to be new colors as well, but those last two are late availability and they aren't available yet to order online. That leaves us with 9 colors at the moment, DB Black, Granite, Destroyer Grey, Billet, Octane Red, Redline Red, White Knuckle, Vice White, and Inviolet. Vice White is the only color that's going to cost an extra fee of $5.95. So, to do a quick recap on what's new for 2019, we do have around 10 to 12 changes, but they're nothing really too substantial, so that hopefully means that there will be some big changes, like new models in the upcoming few years. But anyways, here's a list of changes on screen. So that's the end of the video. There's not a whole lot different for 2019, as Dodge has just added a few minor changes in the form of things like wheels and colors, and that's about it. But hopefully you enjoyed checking out all that the 2019 Durango has to offer, and make sure to stay tuned for more of these videos across the Dodge and Chrysler lineup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.